Hi, and welcome to Market Conversations. I just want to do a quick video on FRC. It is First Republic Bank. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. This stock was up 29%, and right now it's trading at 14.45 after hours. And let's go ahead and take a look at the six months daily charts. So this stock was once trading above $100, and it sold off 80% in the last. 10 trading sessions because of a fear of a bank run and then we saw the collapse of silicon bank as well as signature bank so those two companies those two stocks are currently halted from trading a quick look at silicon valley bank stock has been halted for almost two weeks now again this stock was trading above 200 dollars went down to 100 so you can see that the price is 106 that was thursday's closing price and then 39 that's when the price actually halted you can see that the stock went to a low of 1152 it is currently oversold so i hear that there are some people who thinks this is a great opportunity and then there's also people that are scared to get in because of what happened with Signature Bank and Silicon Valley Bank, me included. I actually got into Silicon Bank because I thought I could scalp it and thought I could scalp it, but I was wrong. Basically, I lost everything that I put in there, which was about $6,000. But you never know with these regional banks. Just because there's been news, we can see that this article that came out today, 146, it says First Republic's bank stock ended the regular trading with 30% gain on Tuesday amid reports that JP Morgan Chase was working to help bolster the bank's capital. And as U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen pledged to help banks, Yellen delivered a speech to the American Bankers Association saying that the government has a resolute commitment to take the necessary steps to ensure that the depositors' savings in the banking system remain safe. So we have this news, and then there's another reasons to buy. So it says here, as a summary, the sharp decline in the regional banking sector presents a prime opportunity to buy regional bank shares cheaply, but only for investors who can handle the strong price volatility. I don't think many depositors will take money out of the bank due to the extra liquidity boost. FactSet provides insight into the risk exposure of 10 regional banks. First, we will claim out strong from this analysis. JP Morgan came out with an analysis that showed us the dramatic results of the SBB's financial C. ET1 capital ratio, the CET1 capital ratio for First Republic expected to be strong at 6%. First Republic's risk management is favorable because the bank does not invest in exotic derivatives, does not invest in junk bonds, does not issue credit cards or auto loans, and has no negative repayment loans. They invest what you can afford to lose. And if you take a look at these options, so people are buying call options, they're buying puts, they're selling options. Look at the implied volatility. It is over 600%. So when the implied volatility is this high, you want to be selling puts because you want to be able to receive the premium. So for example, we have a eight strike. You can receive $50 in buying puts or buying call. Currently overpriced. You can see that 1450 call option is $4. And these are going to expire on Friday and people are buying these or are either buying calls or buying puts so we have the 10 strike puts thirty-five thousand volume traded today and then we also see the five strike thirty-three thousand volume traded so people are expecting this stock to drop to five dollars and then on the call side we have a lot for the 20 strike sixteen thousand volume traded and we can see that there's weekly options available. So for next week, it's 500% implied volatility. Same thing, we have the 10 strike is very popular. And that's going for $2. Or you can sell a put and receive $2. And then we have the call side, the 20 strike, 3,000 volume traded today. And that's going for $3. So it's very risky. All I can say is... Invest what you can afford to lose because you just never know what's this a falling knife right now. It went from 120 to 100, then to 80, then to 40, to 20, bounced back up to 35, and then yesterday hit a low of 1152. And right now it's trading at 1445. So let me know in the comments if you're thinking about 
getting into First Republic Bank or if you're already in it. And thanks for watching.